Hey, what's up? This is Marcos with Future Studio University. In this video, I will show you how to access chalk directly from within ACE commands. The other day, I was checking the code of ACE on GitHub and I walked through specific folders and checked the file structure and I was walking through the source code folder like for commands because, you know, when using ACE and building commands, you always import the ACE command and you need to extend it and register the specific command to your ACE instance. So I was interested and curious, how is this class structured over here? Because if we are extending it over here, it needs to be an ES2015 class. So, and I was checking it and saw that this .chalk is an, is an instance of chalk within the project and it's the first part within the command constructor. Which means you should be able to access chalk directly and chalk, you know, is a library that allows you to print colorful outputs on the command line. So you might remember that within ACE you have like functions like success or warn or info which allows you to print specific messages in a given color but what if this dot chalk allows you to print colorful outputs even more complex like bold and magenta and you know you can check out chalk over here it's on github as well it's a really nice project that allows you to underline or put really nice colorful locks on the command line and this one is an instance of chalk that allows you to do all that so you know what let's console log and use this chalk bold and bg blue we want a blue background and well let's i am the bonfire so I have like a catchy tune from music, so let's use this and you know what, let's switch over to item and start the CLI. So there's our command and I'm just clearing the command line and run the command. So let's, cheat. let's see. All right, so you can see that this is not kind of blue, but it's more into pink or purple, but it has a background. So you can see that using the instance of chalk allows us to print the background for a specific color. And like this dot success will allow you to print a message in green, but you couldn't do something like this. You want highlight a specific part of a message like this one here. Like, do you really want to upgrade to this specific version? So let's change that to use template literals. And over here, we can just wrap this part and use chalk to make it bold and green. All right, so in here, we need to put it to being a string. All right, so now we can just switch over to item again and start our command. And there you can see, this text is still in white and this one is bold and green. So you can highlight specific phrases on your command line using this.chalk gives you access to the instance of chalk that you can use throughout your command line handle method. I hope this little video helps you to highlight specific parts of your messages. Use this.chalk to access an instance of chalk that allows you to run methods like or access properties like bold and bg blue or even bold and green to highlight only parts of a message and give the user some highlights that he's or should be interested about. And enjoy coding and see you in the next video.